See who will meet today. This is a story about Thomas the Tank Engine, a cheeky little blue steam engine with six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler, and a short stumpy dome. He is the number one engine on the Fat Controllers Railway, and as a whistle, that sounds like this. So now you've met the hero of our story. Let's begin our journey. All aboard for a big adventure. Oh, hi, Edward. Well, hello, Thomas. Hey, I heard I heard that Twilight Sparkle has made something over what she calls near her castle in Equestria. The School of Friendship. Hmm. The School of Friendship. The School of Friendship. Anything the matter, Edward? Well... The School of Friendship is something differently upon a school. Oh, really? What happened? Well, I remember when your friends, the elves and fairies, the ponies, and you went to a magic school. That was a place that was different, which happened in Troubles in five months ago. What happened? Well, I remember that bit, but I'm not. But I don't know if you remember. Well, no, I remember that bit when the. the when Twilight and the others told me. It was a long time ago in five months, but I guess I should tell you the story since I remember it. Okay then. Good morning, your majesties. Good morning, Annie Plum. Princess Holly would like to show you how well she is doing with her magic. Yes, I would. That's lovely, sweetie. She will now cast a spell for you. It's not magic jelly, is it? No, no, not magic jelly. You can choose. What would you like best in the whole wide world? Could you make me something pretty? Okay. Abracadabra-tee-bobbity-boo. Uh -uh. ah! Is it? It seems to be a box of burps, your majesty. No, oh, that's disgusting. Sorry, Daddy. I think it's about time Holly had some proper magic lessons. Very good, Your Majesty. I'll just fetch my wand. No, Nanny Plum. I mean proper lessons at a proper school. School? Yes. Holly is old enough to go to Mrs. Fig's magic school. Ooh, Mrs. Fig's magic school. I went there when I was little. It sounds fun. Can my friends come as well? Of course. Violet, Rosie, Strawberry and Fleur can go to magic school too. Can Ben come along? Oh, remember Ben is an elf and elves don't like magic. 
Ben will most likely be at elf school today. Good morning. So, um, that was the bit on how the king and queen decided for Holly to go to magic school. Really? Yes. But that's not all. That was the bit with you and the main six having a day out. <sighs> it's so hot. I wish it was some this day could be something warm. Oh. <sighs> it don't you agree if it's a little warm today, Twilight? You asked Thomas, stressed in his voice. Yes, it is a little warm, but it's summer. I know, summer can be a bit warm. Ah, really? <laughs> yeah, remember that one time I told you that James had to wear boot laces that one time? Touché, Thomas. Touché. lesson is called why elves don't do magic who can tell me why elves don't do magic because we're elves <laughs> yes ben but can anyone tell me why we don't do magic because we're elves <laughs> yes yes i know but why don't we is it because magic always leads to trouble yes jake Magic always leads to trouble. This way, girls. And talking of trouble... Hello, wise old elf. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. We're going to magic school. Ooh, can we go to the magic school too, wise old elf? No, I forbid it. Oh, please, wise old elf. Please, please. Oh, very well. Today's lesson will be... To see how magic always leads to trouble. Oh, no, it won't. Come on, girls, let's go. This way to the magic school. Ah, magic school. I suppose it'll all be pink and fluffy and covered in glitter. That sounds nice. Here we are, Mrs. Fig's magic school. Oh, what a sensible building. It could have been built by an elf. I know. It's a bit ugly, isn't it? It's very sensible. Now, girls and boys, you'll soon be meeting Mrs. Fig. She taught me everything I know. Oh. What? Oh, we weren't here for this part. Well, Thomas, it seems you were. No, no, I was talking to the main six in the, in the flashback of where you remember Edward. Right, right, right. Let me just see. Mrs. Fig liked me. I used to call her Old Figgy. <laughs> Did she really used to do it, Edward? Oh, well, sometimes. A little bit. But isn't it all? Nope. That's all. That isn't it. That is not all. Good morning, children. Morning, morning Old Figgy. Figgy. My name is Mrs. Fig. Morning, morning Mrs. Mrs. Fig. Fig. That's better. Hello, Figgy. Remember me? Ah, Nanny Plum. How could I forget? I told you I was her best pupil. In all my years of teaching, Nanny Plum, I never had another pupil like you. Thank you. And I am the wise old elf. <laughs> Elves? At magic school? Yes, we're here to see the magic all go wrong. Nothing will go wrong at Mrs. Fick's magic school. <sighs> but I don't understand. I mean, nothing, as you said, nothing goes wrong at your magic school. And what are you? I'm, 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 I'm Thomas, the tank engine. He's a steam engine from the island of Sodor. I get it. 
We're all friends of Thomas, too. <sighs> That's fine enough, but I haven't got time to see the other of you yet. But I'll do it later. Now, who do we have here? I'm Princess Holly. Princess Holly, what do you and your little friends know about magic? Oh, I've told them lots of things. Let's say you know nothing. Now, what's the most important rule of magic? Don't do magic. Correct. What? But where's the fun in that? Magic is not meant to be fun. Oh, oh, oh. I like this lesson. Magic is only meant to be used for sensible things by sensible people. Well, I'm a steam engine and I'm sensible. Of course you are, darling. I mean, if we haven't met you, you would you would be a little bit cheeky and a funny one. Now, pretend you are in the kitchen doing the washing up. Are you going to wash the dirty dishes using magic? Yes. Stop. That's just the sort of thing you can do by hand. What? That's just plain wrong. But if you come across a, a particularly stubborn stain on a saucepan, perhaps you could use magic or leave it to soak overnight. Why not just magic the whole lot clean and get on with something fun? I am the teacher, Nanny Plum. Sorry, Figgy. <laughs> And now for the magic lesson. <laughs> First, we have to warm up. Let's start with a little jog. No, no, the jogging. Wow. I don't think I have done jogging in a while. Me neither. Indeed. Well, I, I can't jog, but I can steam around. That doesn't matter. So, is that it? Nope. There's still a few more to go. Okay. You must be a good rememberer, Edward. Well, of course I am. So, as I was saying, they were two very spells. Can anyone think of a useful spell? Magic jelly! Magic jelly? Yes, that's very useful. Well, I 
suppose magic jelly has its uses? Like at a children's party. Or a picnic. Or as a yummy pudding. Oh. <laughs> oh boy, here we go again. Hey, magic jelly. But let's get someone sensible to wave the wand. Me, me, me. All right. Who is the most sensible person here? The wise old elf. The wise old elf shall wave the wand. Really? I don't know how he will do it. <laughs> well, he should he should give it a go, even though he doesn't do magic. Me? But I'm not a fairy. I don't do magic. That's what he said. Exactly. The perfect person. Oh, I don't think so. No, it wouldn't be right. Nonsense. We just need a bit of fairy dust. You are now magical. <laughs> oh, he looks so funny. <laughs> it's not funny, Thomas. Oh, come on, Twilight. I was just teasing. Is it just teasing or funny teasing? Or uh, just being funny teasing? My body is all tingly. I don't like it. Don't worry, you won't be magical for very long. Just wave the wand and say, Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Uh, jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Oh, oh, oh it worked. Can I turn Nanny Plum into a frog? Ha, I'd like to see you try. I say, this is fun. Thomas then whistled in hard. But Thomas on the other hand started to get faster and faster. His nails pounded down on this. The other hand there was a there was a stamp fiber with a truck on top. The driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. And that was how that jumbo jelly crush had attended for. So me and the main six were featured at that bit too. Well, apparently you were. Wow, you really are a good rememberer, Edward. Well, I was the wisest engine to who had first arrived here straight before you. So I guess I am. <laughs> What, what were the main six like when they were in that jumbo jelly bit? Well, they were like, 
Well, like, well, well, I'll tell you another time. Oh, well. <laughs> if, you, if your friend can remember things. Fancy that. Like, fancying that the, the wise old elf is doing magic. And sometimes jumbo bits can be like a really differently thing. Like you have been naughty. Even though if you it can even turn into a really good time. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Until the next episode, everybody. Bye.